using their voice for a greater good. A local group of musicians are working together to make a difference right here in Boston. Our Levin Reed is back here in studio with us to tell us a story. Hey, Levin. Hey, Courtney. And the Boston Globe named them Boston's Ambassadors of Harmony. The Boston Children's Chorus was founded by Hubie Jones after he witnessed a performance by a children's choir in Chicago. He came back to Boston and got the ball rolling, and now the BCC showcases great talent in the city. It's a dynamic way to invite young voices to focus on issues of social justice in the city. There are six different locations uh, in, uh, across the city right now in Dorchester in East Boston, um, two in the South End, namely one of them, namely here at Union Church. Founded in 2003, the Boston Children's Chorus takes the power of music and makes a connection with the different communities in Boston. The singers range from age seven to 18, and the goal is to inspire social inquiry. This year, the theme is True Colors. We are really excited to be able to, to explore um, the contributions, uh, the successes, and, and some of the trials, too, um, of the LGBTQI plus community, um, and to, to explore what it means to be able to show up authentically. And by bringing about conversation, they also bring about what they call good trouble. We take the name from Representative John Lewis, mm -hmm. who said that if you see something, say something, we should be willing to stand with and for each other. The chorus is teaching those that are involved in it. It's important because we want young people to understand what it means to have a voice, what it means to know your voice, to express yourself. And for those that come to see the shows, be prepared to feel the response. When it comes time for uh, a performance, we're just letting that all out and there's this outpouring of emotion and it's, it's a really, a really special time. The Boston Children's Chorus does about 50 performances per season, and that includes public and private events. They performed at the TD Garden, Boston Symphony Hall, Royal Albert Hall in London, and the White House. And Courtney, in the conversations I had with Kenneth and Akiba, I could hear the passion they have for all the projects and the kids involved. I can only imagine the overflow of emotion when they all perform and release their songs about the community. And I loved the part where they were saying, you know, they, they think it's important for the kids who participate, we right. heard ages 7 to 18, to develop their voice, get right. comfortable with having that voice, knowing, knowing that they do have it. I think that that is so invaluable, even if they don't realize it at some of their young ages. And I, I feel for the kids to sing about their surroundings and stuff that's going on surroundings immediately gets them involved in stuff that's going on in their community. Absolutely. And in a fun way. Yes, absolutely.